guys, this is DOE and you are watching Let's Play 7 Days to Die, the survival board crafting game. So I've had this game for a while and I've been playing it quite a lot. That means I really really like it. It's a pretty good game. I like the building aspects of the game, that's why I play it. And well it's a zombie killing zombies, it's okay. I'm not much of a PvP so I tend to stay away from other players unless they want to team up and you know survive as one but anyways I am going to start a new game a survival multiplayer map random generated game name is what high street high street Options difficulty would be warrior percentage of the night is 20 zombies default enemy aggression normal persistent profile on cycle would be let's say 20 minutes okay block durability is Let's say 25% so that it's easier to harvest. Loot abundance 200%. Loot respawn time uh, 3 days is the lowest days. Drop on death would be tool belt only so make it quite easier and you know for the flow of the game. Drop on quit nothing enemy memory I'd say 30 seconds. Any spawning would be medium. Craft timer none, loot timer none, both are none for you know again for the flow of the game and the recording. Air drops every three days, cheat mode off. Multiplayer, I'd say. Oh that's it. Let's start the game. So now let's gather some grass. Uh, I think I need at least three. One for a stone axe and two for a crossbow. Okay, there we go. Let's get some sticks. There we go. That's good for now. Cotton. And some golden rod plants. Okay, there's a the stone. Now we can make a stone axe. Let's just craft There we go. And now let's cut down a tree. Oh, let's crouch. I'm undetected so far. There we go. That's why I put the block durability to so low so I can cut down trees fast. And mine. Oh, we are near the ruin city. This should be good for now. With that make six, and let's make a crossbow. I think this is how you do it, as far as I can remember. Oh, I hear a zombie nearby. I'm hunted. Where is the zombie? It's over there. Let's run up. Oh, there's a crawler. A pig. Let's kill the pig. He's on the water, so he can't really run away that fast. Another pig over there. It's pretty good. Lucky for us. But we are attracting smell, so that's why we gotta be careful on because the zombies can smell us. I think it's 30 meters smell. Whoa, run away. Let's try to find a town so I can you know, look for a forge ahead book and make a forge. 
that would be good for us. Oh, let's loot some nests so we can make some bolts for our crossbow. Okay, more stones, we need those. We need sharp stones. Let's destroy these. Get some iron fragments. There we go. Oh, we find we need clay. Just one. So we can make an iron ingot mold. Okay. There we go. We got one. Alright, guys. Uh, I think I see a town. Oh, what is that? Is that a. It looks like a deer. Too far. There is a town. But let's make frames real quick. Frame. I think there's a zombie behind me. Oh, there are there are zombies. Is that a messiah? Let's make that many. Okay. That looks like a pretty good store right there. It does look like a messiah. Or a tool. Or the noble. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go there. Let's kill this guy real quick. And block off the entrance. We're just looking for a forge head book. Any other books? Oh, there we go, forge head. So that's good for now, actually. Uh -huh, let's get some of that. Beer is good. Let's run. Uh, zombies are everywhere right now. Since I'm, I smell. There we go. Kill that. Let's close the entrance. Right. And here, let's destroy. The stairs going up. Is there any zombies? Here? That's good. It's a good way to, you know, protect yourself from zombies when you uh, find a house that has two floors. Destroy the stairs so they can't. Because they can't jump. It's a good way. Oh, we found a bed. Let's get the bed. And let's put down the bed actually. Six. Put down the bed right there. Let's go upstairs or up the ladder. In the attic. I feel pretty safe for now. Oh. Is there any zombies here? Oh. Yeah, let's make a hatch. Just in case. Hear them. Hatch. There we go. Alright, I made a mistake. I've organized some of my stuff, but instead of making an iron ingot, I made, or instead of making an iron ingot mold, I made a lead ingot mold. So, oh, there we go. Fine, fine. It's pretty fast and good for us. That's good. Play. Let's get another one just in case. All right, guys, I'm back here in my base. I couldn't find that deer, but I did find clay. So, so I arranged my stuff. The right box has all the 
ingredients for food, or it is food, and medical supplies. And the middle box are miscellaneous items such as rocks, leather, and all that and such. And building materials too. Uh, iron pipes put it there. And the last box on the left side are just books or things that you can learn from. Now that we have that, we can go outside and look for iron stuff, helmets, jazz, and hopefully we have a toilet here. No toilet? Oh man. Oh, ration. Where's the toilet here? I'm sure it's near here. Let's go to first. I'm pretty sure the toilet is somewhere here. There we go. We can use the toilet to collect water. Oops. Not really bad though. It's not in range. Hmm, I think we're close enough right now. No, you're still not. Wow. Make a rat for us. Nice. Now we have access. Oh, 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 oh. Let's gather some more. Iron stuff. We really need it before it gets dark. Because we have a pickaxe to make it easier and faster. There we go. Hundred. No more. That's good. Let's go back. Alright guys, again, I'm back. Let's go make some iron. There we go. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry and thirsty, so let's just eat. Two cans and drink one water. Alright guys, the day is almost to an end. So so far I've managed to collect, you know, sufficient amount of iron fragments so I can make some iron ingots and in the end make a pickaxe and a fire axe, which is really essential for you know harvesting and all that to make it quicker. And I was able to make some food, which is right here. Too bad I didn't have any eggs, so I can make bacon and eggs. But for now, this is sufficient. And I can still gain some wellness. Let's put that in our chest. As you can see, I found 15 pork, and I ate 3 already. And I was able to make golden rod teas, which also adds to our wellness way better than regular water so let's drink that should be able to drink two and gain maybe one or half a wellness 0.5 wellness because each each goldenrod tea gives you a third of wellness so if you drink three you should be able to gain one wellness and that is it i was able to make a cooking pot a grill uh, secure a 
temporary base, you know, and learn all this. Home maintenance, urban home book, home maintenance. Oh, so I can make, let's see, I can make a claw hammer now, which is good. This is way faster than, oh, oh claw hammer, way faster than a stone axe. It is, it is the second best repair item. Or repair equipment. First one is a uh, nail gun, which only takes one click to upgrade. Claw hammer takes two, a repair tool takes three clicks, and stone axe takes four. So, anyways, it's already 2800, about to be 2100. And we've so far I've accomplished my goals for the first day. So, that's it for now guys, thanks for watching, this is DUE, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments about the game, and I'll answer it.